Hello and welcome to my quest guide for Gertrude's Cat. This quest has no requirements or recommendations other than to have the Varrock Lodestone activated. If you're unfamiliar with the Lodestones or don't have the Varrock one activated, please refer to my Lodestone guide, a link to which is in the card on screen now and in the description. You'll need the following items for this quest a raw sardine, a bucket of milk, 100 coins and some dougal leaves, however the dougal leaves will be obtained at the beginning of the quest. The rewards for this quest are 1 quest point, 1525 cooking experience, a chocolate cake, a bowl of stew, a kitten and the ability to raise cats. This is a novice quest which should take between 5 to 10 minutes to complete and there are no enemies to defeat. One note is that I believe this quest can be a little unforgiving if things are done in an incorrect order, so once we get to the cat, make sure to follow the instructions carefully and do what I do so you don't make any mistakes. To get to the quest start, teleport to the Varrock Lodestone, then run north towards Varrock Square. Once you're in Varrock Square, you'll want to head west, past the bank and follow the path until you find a house to the south of that path. Just follow the path that I take on screen now. Once you get to this house, run behind it to find some Dougal leaves on the floor. Pick one of them up. Then run to the entrance of the house, enter it and speak with Gertrude. When presented with a quest overview screen, choose Accept Quest. Read through the dialogue and Gertrude will ask you to speak to her children Shillop and Willow. After the dialogue, exit Gertrude's house and run east into Varrock Square. As you are running, click on the Dougal leaves in your inventory to use them and then click on the raw sardine in your inventory to use the Dougal leaves on the sardine. Read the dialogue and then you should have a Dougal Sardine. Once in Varrock Square, head to the newspaper stand to the northeast to find Shillop and Willow. Speak with either of them and read the dialogue. When prompted, choose the following dialogue options. The first one is going to be the second option, what will make you tell me? And the next one is going to be the second option again, okay then, I'll pay. You'll give the kids 100 coins and they will tell you where they last saw fluffs. After the dialogue, run east and exit Varrock, then follow my path north to the Lumberyard. Once you arrive at the Lumberyard, run to the western wall and you will find a hole in the fence. Click on it to squeeze under the fence. Once in the Lumberyard, run northeast to where there is a ladder. Climb up it. Once up here, you will see fluffs. Make sure to follow the following instructions as I do, as doing things incorrectly could cause you to lose your milk or sardine. Click on Fluffs and try to pick her up. She will hiss at you. Read the dialogue and then use the bucket of milk in your inventory on her. Read the dialogue and then try to pick her up again. She will hiss again. After this dialogue, use the Dougal Sardine on her and then read the dialogue. After the dialogue, try to pick her up again. She will hiss again. Read the dialogue and you will now need to find her kittens. Climb down the ladder that you just came up and look around the lumberyard for a jiggling crate. It will be visible as it will be the only crate tilting to one side and back again.
Once you've found it, you will find some kittens and they will be added to your inventory. Return to Fluffs up the ladder and use the kittens on her. You'll see a cutscene of the cats leaving the lumberyard. After this cutscene, teleport back to the Varrock Lodestone. As before, run north to Varrock Square and then west to Gertrude's house. Once here, enter her house and speak to Gertrude to complete the quest. An additional note, with the cat that you get as a reward, to have it walk next to you, drop it. Unlike other items, dropping it won't leave it on the floor until it disappears, it will follow you around until you pick it up. You'll need to feed it regularly and give it attention or it'll eventually run away, however I will release a guide on raising cats in the future. I hope this guide has helped you and if it has, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you have any suggestions as to how I can make these guides easier to follow, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.